Last question. Ma'am. My name is Ellen. Uh, you identify as a democratic socialist. For many in this country, socialism in any form is a dirty word. How, sorry, just tell me. Okay. How do you intend to deal with that, especially when the Repub if you are the candidate and the Republican smear machine starts saying dirty socialist or equivalent? Everyone hear the question? I identify as a, a democratic socialist, and if I become the nominee, the Republican smear uh, campaign will go to work. Uh, in fact, what we'll probably do to begin with uh, is hold a major speech uh, in the not too distant future defining exactly what I mean by democratic socialism. Yeah. And, and start off by saying what it is not what we have in this country, which is already socialistic, and where we want to go. All right, so what is it not? Right now, and you know, people like Pope Francis talk about this, you know, not just in America, but all over the world. We have in this world right now the top 1% owning more wealth than the bottom 99%. And in America, as I mentioned earlier, we have a casino capitalist society in which uh, you have a handful of people exercising enormous control over our economy and our political life. So to me, democratic socialism means democracy. It means creating a government which represents all of us, not just the wealthiest people in this country. All right? And it means, by the way, significantly increasing voter turnout. Okay. Number two, I will remind the American people that there are socialist programs out there that are some of the most popular programs in America. FDR passed Social Security. It is enormously popular because people understand that elderly people and people with disabilities have a right to live in security, right? Social Security. J uh, Lyndon Baines Johnson signed the Medicare program which is a variation of a single-payer health care system. When you go to your public library and you call your fire department or the police department, what do you think you're calling? These are socialist institutions. But the point to be made is there are many other countries around the world that have gone further than we have. We are the only major country that doesn't provide family and medical paid leave. We are the only major country that doesn't provide health care to all people. Our tax system is extremely regressive. So those are the issues that I will cover. And I think uh, you're right. I think we have some explaining uh, and work to do. But I think at the end of the day, you're going to find more and more people uh, agreeing with our point of view. Well, let me, uh, let me just thank uh, all of you for coming out on this beautiful, beautiful fall day. Um, and uh, we've got a lot of work in front of us. We're putting together a really great grassroots organization all over the state of Iowa, and we urge you, uh, please be part of that. If we win this thing, and I think it's going to be close here in Iowa, but I think we've got a real shot to win it. Uh, we're doing well in New Hampshire, and if we can win in Iowa and New Hampshire, I think it lays the uh, groundwork for a path toward victory. And if we win this thing, I want you all to know what we're doing. Um, if we win this thing, it will be the biggest political upset in the modern history of the United States of America. And it will be not only an upset, it will, I think, give faith to a lot of people who have lost faith in the political process. Uh, it will be the beginning of the transformation of American society and the creation of a government that represents all of us and not just a few. So thank you all very, very much.